오늘도 여러분을 위해서 해외 영상이 준비되어 있는데요. 그 전에 단어 예습 세 개만 해보죠. 첫 번째는요. 승진 또는 홍보를 가리키는 프로모션 이것이 영상에 다시 나올 겁니다. 잘 들어보시고요. 그리고 직책을 가리키는 position이라는 말도 나올 거예요. 그리고 마지막으로 확실히, 분명히를 뜻하는 definitely도 나올 건데요. 이세 개의 단어들 어렵지는 않지만 메간 선생님과 함께 발음 연습 몇번 해보고 가시죠. All right, so let's practice our pronunciation. Repeat after me. The first word is promotion. 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 All right, and the second one is position. 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 And the final one is definitely. 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 Okay, so before we go on to watching the clip, I would like to introduce someone you guys already know and have seen many times. Her name is Emily. She's from the USA. And she's going to talk about once when she got a promotion at her job and how she felt. So, let's watch. There was a time at one of my previous jobs where I received a promotion and the person who had the job before me was very well liked by everyone who worked there and they did a very, very great job in their position. And then when I was taking the position over, I was really worried because I knew that they were really big shoes to fill. I couldn't help but wondering how am I going to do my job as well as the person before me and how am I going to get everyone to like me and to work well with me. But it just took a little bit of time and in the end everything worked out very well. They were definitely big shoes to fill. Yes, if you get to be a promotion, you get to feel like a happy mood. Of course. How can I do that? How can I do that? Right. Anytime you take on anything new, especially if it involves more work than you're doing now, we all have those worries that maybe we can't feel the previous person's shoes. Yes, but there is no problem with the problem. So, you can do it and do it. So, what was the question in the first question? Let's see the question in the first question and see the related questions. 볼 건데요. 첫 번째 문장입니다. All right. So the first one is there was a time at one of my previous jobs where I received a promotion. There was a time at one of my previous jobs where I received a promotion. 한 번은 제가 전에 일했던 직장들 중 하나에서 mm-hmm. 승진이 되었는데요라는 말이에요. 여기서 mm-hmm. 재밌는 게 이제 my previous job 하면 바로 직전 직업인데 uh-huh. one of my previous jobs 니까 right. not the previous one but one, one of, of my, my previous, previous jobs. jobs right 그리고 이렇게 말을 하니까 it's probably not the previous job right it's definitely not the previous job but she can't remember probably exactly which how many, how many ago? jobs <laughs> ago it yeah. was yeah. so that's why she's saying it but actually we use it a lot yeah you know one of my previous employers one of my previous schools one yeah. of my previous Friends, I don't know. 그렇죠. One of my previous, ma ma ma. One of my previous favorite vacations. Yeah, vacations, favorite bands. 뭐 이렇게 다양하게 mm-hmm. 말할 수 있겠는데요. 그중 하나에서 제가 뭐뭐 뭐 했던 적이 있었습니다라는 말로 앞 부분에서 여기서 정리해봐야 될 것이 there was a time이라는 말이 나오고 있어요. There was a time. There was a time. 뭐 where 또는 there was a time when 이렇게 말을 붙여주는데. 한 번은 뭐뭐 했던 적이 있어요. 우리 말로 제가 한 번은요, 뭐 친구 집에 간 적이 있었는데요. 제가 한 번은요, 산에서 뭐뭘 했던 기억이 있는데요. 이렇게 말할 때, there was a time when, there was a time where 둘 중에 하나 붙이고 쭉 이어가면 되겠습니다. 이걸로 예문 하나 만나볼까요? Okay, so for example, you could say there was a time when I would swim every day. There was a time when I would swim every day. 제가 뭐 지금은 아닌 거죠. 한때 right. 한때 right. 매일 수영을 하던 때가 있었습니다. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's actually true. Actually, I do have a time when I used to swim every day. 그렇군요. 저는 매일 수영해 본 적이 없어요. Oh, really? <웃음> Never in my I'm life. I'm sorry. You missed out. <웃음> There was a time though when I would swim every week. Oh. 일주일에 한번한 한 적은 있어요. 그런데 mm. 매일은 한 번도 해본 적이 없는 것 같고. Mm. 그래서 There was a time when 뭐뭐뭐 제가 mm-hmm. 이렇게 한 적이 한번 있었는데요라고 말할 때쓸수 있는 표현이었고요. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장 쓰시죠. Alright. So the next sentence is, and then when I was taking the position over, mm-hmm. I was really worried. And then when I was taking the position over, I was really worried. 
그리고 and then when I was taking the position over, mm-hmm. 그 직책을 제가 맡게 되었을 때 I was really worried라고 yeah. 했는데 여기서 공부해볼 내용은요. Take over입니다. Take over. Take over가 이제 뭐 기업 인수 합병할 때도 자주 나오는 말이긴 한데 그냥 I take over 누구 누구 뭐 job 또는 I take 누구 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 누구의 job 또는 position over 그러니까 over가 앞에 와도 뒤에 와도 괜찮다는 말이죠. 그래서 take over 하면 이를 인수 받다 이를 맡다라는 말이에요. 이거 예문 하나 보고 가시죠. Okay, so for example, you could say something like I'm going to take over from here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take over from here. 네, 여기서 이 take over까지 봐야 take over가 이런 뜻이구나 알수 있는데요. 먼저 앞에서 봤던 거는 take the position over, mm-hmm. take over the position, 직책인데 right. 방금 전에 읽어주신 예문에는 there's no object. Of course. 네, 그렇게도 쓸수 있는 거예요. 그냥 mm. I'm going to take over from here. Mm. 여기서부터는 이제부터는 right. 내가 맡을 거야. Right, exactly. I'm in charge. From now. From now. Yeah. Yeah. You can much. say. Are you sure? Was that real? No, it's are you a simple sentence. Okay, because you're not in charge. We Let's are. Let's make both that clear. Ch- we're both in charge. But in this sentence, especially, I'm going to take over from here. 영화를 보시면 정말 많이 나와요. Mm-hmm. 이제부터 이 배는 내가 맡는다. That's true. You hear that a lot, especially in some type of like spy movies or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. You know, one spy doesn't do so well, mm-hmm. and then another spy. I'm going to take over from here. Get out. Yeah, 그렇죠. <laughs> also in a control center. Right. Or in a headquarters office where uh-huh. people are monitoring other agents. Right, and then another group will come yeah. in. We're taking over from here. Yeah, we're the bosses. Yeah. 그런 말이 되겠죠? 자, 세 번째 문장 어떤 문장인가요? All right. So the next one is, I couldn't help but wonder, how am I going to do my job as well as the person before me? Mm-hmm. I couldn't help but wonder, how am I going to do my job as well as the person before me? 네. 어떤 질문을 스스로에게 하게 된 거죠. 뭐 이런 right. 생각이 안들 수가 없었다. Mm-hmm. 내가 How am I going to do my job as well as the person before me? The person before me, 우리말로 번역하자면 전임자죠. Mm-hmm. 내 앞에 있었던 사람만큼 어떻게 이 일을 잘할 수 있을까라고 mm-hmm. wonder, 궁금해하는 것을 mm-hmm. 뭐 피할 수가 없었다, 안할 수가 없었다라는 말이 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 여기서 사실 에밀리 씨는 이제 구어체다 보니까 mm-hmm. 누구나 실수를 하게 되죠. 원어민들도 말 실수가 나옵니다. 그런데 여기서 I could not help but wondering이라고 말을 했어요. Right, she did. 네, 사소한 실수인데 물론 help wondering right. 괜찮고. I couldn't help wondering how am I going to? 네, help mm-hmm. but wonder 괜찮은데 mm-hmm. help but wondering은 이제 right. it's, 안 쓰는 it's not 말이거든요. Correct. 그렇지만. But. We all make mistakes. I probably have made mistakes before. 네, and you just didn't know. 그렇죠. So I'm sorry. <웃음> <웃음> 내가 선생님도 여러분 모르게 실수를 여기저기 했다고 하는데 누구나 실수를 할수 있습니다. 그래서 right. 그냥 이제 두 개가 섞인 거죠. 그렇지만 정확하게 읽어 보면 이제 can't help but wonder인데요. 이 부분 설명을 드릴게요. can't help. 도와줄 수 없다. but 뭐뭐 하면 can't help but 도울 수 없고 그냥 이걸 해야만 한다. 즉 하지 않을 수 없다라는 말이에요. 다시 한번 정리하겠습니다. Can't help but 동사 원형 이렇게 말하면 이거 하는 거 말고는 달리 도울 방법이 없다. 즉 하지 않을 수 없다. 예문으로 만나보시죠. All right. So for example, uh, this is something that happens to me a lot. Mm. I'm sorry, but I can't help but laugh. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but I can't help but laugh. 네, 미안하지만 웃지 않을 수가 없네요. <웃음> yes. <웃음> It happens a lot, especially if something kind of bad happens to your friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not in danger, but you can't help but laugh. Yeah, true. I mean, in real (laughs) life, too, whenever I make mistakes, Mm -hmm. you laugh. Yeah, I can't help it. Yeah, you can't help it. Same. 그렇죠. When you make mistakes, I can't help but laugh. Of course. 네, 웃지 않을 수가 없다라고 할때 can't help but 또는 can't help 동사 ing라고 써주시면 좋겠습니다. 이제 마지막 문장 남았습니다. Alright, so the final sentence is, but it just took a little bit of time, and in the end, everything worked out very well. But it just took a little bit of time, and in the end, everything worked out very well. 하지만, it just took a little bit of time, a little bit of time, 시간이 조금 걸렸을 뿐. But, uh, and, in the end, 그리고, in the end, 끝에는, mm-hmm. 결과적으로는, 마무리쯤에 봤을 때에는, everything worked out Very well. Mm-hmm. 모든 것이 잘 풀렸습니다. Mm-hmm. 네, everything worked out. 까지만 해도 
충분해요. Yeah, of course. 네, it suffices to say everything worked out. 그렇지만 right. very well까지 붙여줬고요. Mm-hmm. 여기서 공부해볼 내용은 중간에 나와 있는 바로 in the end. In the end. At the end 하고는 좀 달라요. At the end는 뒤에 다 가서, 뒤에 끝에 가서라는 말이 되겠고 끝 부분에 그런데 in the end라고 하면 결과적이라고 하는 결과적으로라는 그런 수거적인 의미가 있습니다. In the end. In the end 가지고 또 예문 볼까요? All right. So for example, you can say in the end I was glad I said yes. Mm-hmm. In the end I was glad I said yes. 결과적으로는 어, yes라고 말한 것이 다행스럽게 여겨진 거죠. Yeah. In the end 결과적으로는 하겠다고 해서 기뻐요. 하겠다고 mm-hmm. 하길 잘했어요. 라는 mm-hmm. 말입니다. In the end, 물론 other ways to say it eventually yeah. at the end of the day. 네. Mm-hmm. 또뭐 다양한 말들이 I'm sure there are other ones. We just can't think of them right now. 예. Yeah. <웃음> 그렇지만 in the end가 제 생각에는 가장 많이 쓰이는 표현 중에 하나인 것 같습니다. Mm-hmm. So we're at the end of this segment, right? Yes, we are at the end of this segment, and now it's time for us to move on to looking at the sentences once again. But this time we're going to listen to each one two times each, so that that way we can study a little bit more. So let's watch. There was a time at one of my previous jobs where I received a promotion. There was a time at one of my previous jobs where I received a promotion. And then when I was taking the position over, I was really worried. And then when I was taking the position over, I was really worried. I couldn't help but wondering how am I going to do my job as well as the person before me? I couldn't help but wondering how am I going to do my job as well as the person before me. But it just took a little bit of time and in the end everything worked out very well. But it just took a little bit of time and in the end everything worked out very well. Okay, so now it's time for us to study the entire clip, the clip in its entirety, so we will watch it from start to finish. finish. There will be English subtitles, so you can read and follow along. Let's watch. There was a time at one of my previous jobs where I received a promotion, and the person who had the job before me was very well liked by everyone who worked there, and they did a very, very great job in their position. And then when I was taking the position over, I was really worried because I knew that they were really big shoes to fill. I couldn't help but wondering how am I going to do my job as well as the person before me and how am I going to get everyone to like me and to work well with me. But it just took a little bit of time and in the end everything worked out very well. They were definitely big shoes to fill. So, Megan, it's time to say goodbye. That's it for today's show. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't seem so thrilled. No, I'm not thrilled to be ending the show. Why not? Because I like it. Uh-huh, I, I like see. I like it here. <laughs> First, I thought it was going to be a hard workload. I mean, it was. <laughs> Stop Big acting. shoes to fill, but I adjusted. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Using many of the words that we covered yeah, earlier. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> 자, 방금 전에 이제 오늘의 takeaway sentences도 자연스럽게 소개를 해봤는데 catch 하셨나요? Uh-huh. 네. So today's takeaway is you don't seem so thrilled. 네. You don't seem so thrilled. You don't seem so thrilled. 별로 신나 보이지 않네요. 제가 mm-hmm. 어, 이제 방송 이제 벌써 인사할 시간이 됐다고 하니까 이렇게 말했잖아요. 그래서 제가 별로 신나 보이지 않네요라고 말한 겁니다. 여러분 혹시 한 문장만 기억하고 싶다면 이 문장 꼭 기억해 두시고요. Mm-hmm. 저희 홈페이지 방문하시면 다양한 뭐 다운로드 받을 수 있는 That's 스크립트들이 right. 있습니다. That's right. And thank you for studying with us today. We're going to teach you even more useful expressions next time. 네, 여러분 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye. <웃음> yeah. Yeah. Don't you wanna be like this?